Boo! Did I get you? If I did, be sure to hit the subscribe button, because that is the law. And if I didn't get you, be sure to rewatch the video again so that I can get you next time. That way, I also get more views, and these numbers are how I validate myself. I like arguing. That was my way of saying that I like debating. And when I was younger, I used to enjoy participating in debate competitions. Arguing is also the reason I don't have any friends. Why wasn't I invited to your birthday, Kyle? I said hi to you in the hallway. <clears throat> Anyways, the debate competition. I think one of the more memorable events that I joined was this thing called the World Scholars Cup. So my school arranged for a club so that if you wanted to participate in it, you could join regionals and after that you can join this global round. So in global rounds, people from all over the world would meet and clash in the field of academics. It was all kinds of stuff aside from debating. There was a scavenger hunt, and on the year I joined, the scavenger hunting grounds was a labyrinth of glass and Forever 21 soaked in the stench of overpriced coffee, otherwise known as mall. And we also got food for lunch, which was pretty average to be honest. But what made it interesting was that you got to sit with contestants from other countries, and it was a good opportunity to meet new people and to get to know other cultures. But one event stuck out to me like a sore thumb. The Scholar's Ball. It was kind of like a prom, but instead of waiting till the end of three years where you get to meet the same people that you hate, you get to go through three days of fun activities and you get to meet all kinds of new faces that you just kind of hate. Or so it would have been if it wasn't for the bow tie incident. So you see, the ball took place on the final night of the three days. And our story takes place an hour before the actual ball starts. My school arranged for each participant to share rooms for two so that we can save the money, which I am a fan of. Having an hour of free time before the ball, my roommate and I did usual preparations that teenage boys do, which is sleep in for 50 minutes, then change 10 minutes before we headed out. However, when I was putting on my tux, I realized that my bow tie was missing. Hmm, what is it? I can't find my bow tie, but I sworn I packed it. Did you check your pockets? I did, but I... I'm not sure where it could be. Oh darn, it's almost time too. Do you need help looking for it? No, it's fine. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. You go on ahead first. I'll catch up. Besides, we're almost late. Wow, that is such a nice thing to do. I'm sure you get this all the time, but you are awesome. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. I'm serious. How are you so amazing? You didn't just write this in so that I will toot your horn, you know? Because you, you're humble. Go, you're going to be late. Alrighty, I'll see you there. I love you. After being complimented as usual, I searched all over the room for an hour. You know it's getting bad when you check an empty drawer, then you reopen it five seconds later as if it would magically materialize. So like any reasonable person, I went to the ball without a bow tie. After all, it wasn't that formal and my friends were waiting. I ended up walking to the mall to buy a new bow tie. Why did I do that instead of spending the last night out with my friends making great memories? I wanted to impress girls, okay? I don't know why, but in my head at the time, it was like, oh, a bow tie is the final piece that will make women tip over the edge and swoon for me, which is like, no. And also, that's not like healthy <laughs> at all, but you know, hormonal teens and whatever, they just think about reproduction. Why did I think a bow tie was the final article of clothing that will help be the element to tip people over the edge? I don't know. I mean, you believe in a lot of dumb things when you're young, okay? At that age, I even still believed in myself. Being a sweaty teenager at the time and being aware that I was wearing layered clothing, I made sure not to increase metabolic processes too much uh, in order to prevent the putrid odor disseminating from my pores. Why didn't I just take off the tux if I knew it was hot outside and just come back for it later? I went from store to store to store. I don't know if there was a law against bow ties or something, but it certainly felt like it was some restricted commodity. Because I searched high and low, 
weaving through the network of mannequins and underpaid employees. Eventually, however, I did find a bow tie. It was pretty pricey, but fortunately I had two kidneys. After the church back, I went up to the ballroom where the ball was being held, and before me was a sight to behold. An amalgamation of sweat and hormones just clumped around the DJ booth, like ants around spilt Mountain Dew. All the while hearing Bad Blood by Taylor Swift piercing my ears. I tried texting my friends, but it seemed like they've become one with the entity before me. I knew I had to get in, but the rancid stench of teenagers who don't know basic hygiene made it so that I needed to dive into the crowd and in. I managed to get 30 seconds into the horde before coming up to breathe. I searched for half an hour, but to no avail. I decided to spend the remainder of the ball just enjoying myself. After all, I worked hard the past few days, and everyone clapped when I was starting to break down. No. I went back to the hotel room, turned on Spongebob, and collapsed into bed. The next day, we got on a bus to the airport. Every now and then, a friend of mine would ask, Where were you? I didn't see you last night. It was great. Which was kind of rubbing salt in the wound. What I didn't expect was that later on, my school friend asked if it was okay for her to give my contact to a person. The person in question was a girl from the group that was paired with mine during the mediocre lunch I mentioned earlier. Then we added each other and one thing led to another. And then we s smashed online. It was kind of embarrassing was my joystick kind of broke. But you know, that was the story of the first time I played Smash with a girl online and you know, things didn't work out. You may be thinking, all right, that's all well and good, but what about the bow tie? What happened to my favorite character and why did you kill him off screen? Well, when I got home, not even an hour after stepping through the front door, I found it in my breast pocket. Apparently it was in the tux breast pocket the whole time. So from when I was searching, when I was going to the mall, when I headed back, when I gave up and I went back to the room and took it off, the answer apparently was right here the whole time. So, the moral of the story, we should ban all breast pockets from existence. Yeah. That's weird. Nobody ever texts me. Oh, it's a message from Kyle. Hmm. Probably going to apologize for not inviting me to his birthday. Leave me alone, you freak of nature. Aw, <laughs> he gave me a cute nickname. Hey, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Remember that if I didn't get you the first time, then you gotta rewatch the video so that I can get you. That way, you'll subscribe and I'll be happy. Um, anyways, a little update. I'm thinking of uploading every week. Most likely a Wednesday or a Thursday upload get. I'm not too sure myself. And yeah, so you can check out that video. You could also um, check out my social medias down below. The content I post there will grant you immortality. And yes, that is not a joke. Very serious. Dada.